Are you also tired of manual tasks? Automation is fantastic when it comes to software. Today I want to show you Quoply, an automation platform that can automate any type of tasks, a real time saver. Let's check it out. So this is the Quoply platform and starting out on the dashboard here, this is still work in progress because I have created a dashboard here for project management and when I click on it, it's completely empty. So the dashboard is not very useful at the moment. Now where I want to take you next is into the board section because within the boards is where we really see the agility of Quobly. Here you can build any type of board you can imagine and then you can build different types of views depending on how it matches the boards the best possible way and of course how it works best for you. Now here I have four different boards and I want to show you the task management board. Within this I have two boards, I have task and I have task done. If we go to the task board here then you will see that I have one task at the moment which is to set up WordPress. There's no description and there's no assignee at the moment. I've set a start date and a deadline and this is used for the calendar view which I'll show you just in a moment. Moving further ahead we have more different types of data points and you can add as many data points as you want because we all work different and this is where the agility really comes in. Now this is the default view which is just a table view. We can also see it as a calendar view where you can see down here I need to finish setting up WordPress. This is just very simple. You can see it on a weekly basis, on a daily basis and monthly basis. Then we have the Kanban view and here you can see that I can move this task from new to in progress, on hold, completed or cancelled. This is the different stages and all of these stages you can edit within your board settings. Clicking on the three dots here, we can add more views. So the table view, calendar and Kanban view we already have. But you can also add gallery view, a map view if you're working with addresses, a chart view, maybe to keep an eye on the performance of your projects. And then we have the folder view as well. Very simple. In the folder view, you can just divide it into different folders. But I really like these three different types of views because then I feel like I have the overview. The Kanban view is just for moving the task and to get an overview of how many tasks are in progress, how many is on hold and how many is to do in theory. That is the simple way of creating these boards. Now if we want to create a new board over here, we can either choose to create it completely from scratch or we can choose one from the template hub. So if I go to the template hub, you can see that they have a lot of different categories down here. And under each category, they have different types of templates. So if we just go to the all page here, you can see that they have so many different types of templates that you can use. And just for instance, they have everything from an employment contract to award winning nomination form, podcast editorial calendar and so much more. Let's go with the podcast editorial calendar here and use this template. We will create it as a new board and then we have it ready. So the template is built into the board. I will then go to it and you can see we have within this board group five different boards. We have the episodes, the transcriptions, the guests, sponsorships and ad formats. So let's just go to the episodes. In here again you can see that we just have a table view and that makes a lot of sense because within podcasts you just want a long list of the different episodes so you can see it easily and you can see the episode number, what season it is and so on. Over here in the menu we have all of the other boards which are within this group. Now this is the basic functionality of Quobly. Where Quobly is very interesting is within the automation workflows. So if I go back to my boards here and then I choose my project management board here again the task management and I press task then up here you can see that I have two workflows right now if I click on this existing then you can see that when a task is completed something is going to happen when I create a record in Trello something is going to happen so let's try and edit this workflow with Trello so what it says here is that every time I create a record within Quobly, then it will add a new card in Trello. So it will basically synchronize everything I do in Quobly to Trello. 
but right now only if I add new cards. So here you can see I have integrated my Trello account, add a new card, chosen my account, and then down here you choose the board, the list, and what name they should be on this card, and then you press save workflow. Now this is running, so every time I create a new task here, it will also be created in Trello. But now what when I move a task from to do into progress or on hold, we would also like that to happen within Trello. So let's see if that is possible. So I will go to new workflow and then I will look for Trello here. Just if we scroll a little bit, it will come right there. So I'll just create the workflow. The trigger will be that a record is updated and then we'll continue to set up the action. And in here we'll search for Trello and we will say move card to list. Again, I will choose my Trello account. And now here you can see that the board is again platform. We choose the list, which is just backlog, the card and the destination list. See, this is here where I would like some more agility. So here I would like to say that every time I update a card to in progress, it should also move to the list in progress within Trello. I don't want to say what specific card it should be because it should happen for all of the cards. So it is completely synchronized. So when I create a task in Trello or in Quabbly, it is created both places. When I move a task in Trello or in Quabbly, it is moved both places. And when I update a task, it is updated both places. That's a small thing that would be really cool in order to really synchronize between these. But this is just one example. You can of course also send out emails. Let's say that you're working again on a client project and every time a feature is done, the client wants to know that the feature is done so they can test it themselves. Then you can go in here, build a workflow and say every time a task is moved to done, then send out an email to this client telling that this specific feature is done. And this is what Coop is all about. And now I've just talked about examples within project management, but it can also be within restaurants or within orders if you take from a web shop, or let's say that you have a form because within Coop you can also build forms. So over here on the right, we have the form button. We can then generate a form and let's make it a modern form. And then you can see that we have all the fields here. We'll just make them visible. Then we'll give the form a name. And now the form is ready. So if I go to the next step, we can enter a message if we want. And we can also set an expiry date for this specific form. Then we can choose to customize the form if we want to. But in this case, I will not do it and then create the form. So here we have a link to the form. So this is great if you want your client to create the task for you but you don't want them to be within the Quabbly universe, then you can create a form here and then your client can then go in and say, okay, the title should be set up WordPress. Go to the next step, description. Again, I'll just write WordPress. Next step, set a start date. It should happen 22. The deadline for this is 28. The budget required is a no. Next step, the budget, I will not fill out, no document, the status is new. And then we go to submit this form. So right now the form is submitted. So if I go back into Cooply here and I refresh, then you can see that there are now two tasks here to fill out. And that is again a really great feature because this is already part of starting the shareable public boards to make it easy for clients or external partners to fill in information for you. And again, if I press calendar, you can see that the task is down here. In the Kanban view, it is right now new. I can move it to progress and so on. So that is the overall platform of Quabbly. It is not as advanced as you think it might be. It's really easy to use when you get started. So jump in, start a free trial, and then try and create a board, try and create a workflow for the board and then just work your way through it because then it will make it really easy for you and you will save a lot of time. Quabbly has three plans and they do also have a free plan where you can test out Quabbly. All of these three plans, they differ on the amount of features you get, the amount of users and the amount of boards. So before you dive into a paid plan, try out the free plan to see whether it's for you or not because you do get a lot of functionality with Quabbly, but it can be a little bit difficult to figure out. Now the alternative to Quabbly as I see it is Airtable and ClickUp. 
Some might say that Sapir is an alternative, but I feel that Quobly is a bit above Sapir because they have the board functionality. So with these boards, you can attach forms to fill out information in the, in the boards, but you can also use the boards to send information out to other platforms or receive information from other platforms to the board. And this is where it lifts above Sapir because Sapir is just a platform where they receive data and they send that data to a third platform. With Airtable, it is very much the same. I have not been able to use Airtable that much yet, but they are very close to Quobly where we also have all of these tables we can work with, we can import data and we can export data to a third party platform. But Quobly is cheaper than all of these alternatives and just the part that you can start with a free plan is a huge benefit because then you can really test it out to figure out whether Quobly is for you or not. Now, as you have seen, Quobly is still a bit buggy and that's because it's not such a mature product yet. So that means that they're still working a lot on stabilizing the entire platform and stabilizing the features that they have already built. But looking further into the future, then they're working on adding more integrations to social media platforms, email systems, and a lot more because that's what Quobly is about. It's about integrating to as many platforms as possible so we can automate these manual processes. Then they are working on enhancing the dashboard with more graphs, more functionality, so we can get an entire overview of all of our boards and maybe see how the performance is going from the individuals and even with the projects itself. Last but not least, they are working on public shareable boards. This will make it possible for third-party users who are not part of Quobly to see your boards and maybe fill out information. Let's say that you have a project you're building for a client. Then the client would be able to follow your progress in the board without they have to sign up for Quobly or you have to invite them within Quobly. That's a really nice feature to have. What I really like about Quobly is that it's so feature-packed you get a lot of integrations and then it's just so agile. However, I really want them to fix all of the bugs, stabilize the platform so it's not so slow to load data and then take a look at the UX because right now it's not so easy to use and we're really missing help texts. Quobly makes it possible to automate so many different types of manual processes. It is a real time saver, but they still have a long way to go. And therefore, I want to give Quobly three and a half stars. It does have great potential. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.